Joe to sign this. Memory of St. Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Our entrance antiphon. Jesus entered a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us go to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Today's Mass intention is for Doroth Narcis and Sebastian Ragusa. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses did exactly as the Lord had commanded him. On the first day of the first month of the second year, the dwelling was erected. It was Moses who erected the dwelling. He placed its pedestals, set up its boards, put it in, in its bars, and set up its columns. He spread the tent over the dwelling and put the covering on top of the tent, as the Lord had commanded him. He took the commandments and put them in the ark. He placed poles alongside the ark and set the proprietary upon it. He brought the ark into the dwelling and hung the curtain veil, thus screening off the ark from the commandments, as the Lord had commanded him. Then the cloud covered the meeting tent, and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Moses could not enter the meeting tent because the crowd settled upon it, down upon it, and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Whenever the cloud rose from the dwelling, the children of Israel would set out on their journey. If the cloud did not lift, they would not go forward. Only when it lifted did they go forward. In the daytime, the cloud of the Lord was seen over the dwelling, whereas at night, fire was seen in the cloud by the whole house of Israel in the stages of their journey. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. How lovely oh, is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. Bless they who dwell in the house continually, they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are you. They go from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie in the threshold of the house of the Lord than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who believes and lives in me 
will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as I have said in the beginning today, we celebrate the memory of Saints Martha, Mary, and their brother Lazarus. These were close friends of Jesus, and Jesus often visited them at their home. This is a family of disciples who had experienced the love of God present in Jesus and have responded to that love. Martha's grief at the death of her brother Lazarus is a grief of a disciple, of a believer. Her opening, opening words to Jesus on his arrival seem to express her disappointment at Jesus' absence at the time of her brother's death. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. She symbolizes every believer who struggle to come to terms with the apparent absence of the Lord in the face of the stark reality of death, death of a loved one. Yet her grief does not leave her hopeless, as is evident from her subsequent words to Jesus. I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. This is the faith we are all today invited to follow. Always to know that Jesus is alive. Jesus has a power over our life. Let it be uh, while we live here on earth or after life. Hoy celebramos la fiesta de Santa María, Martha y Lázaro. Se trata de una familia de discípulos que han experimentado el amor de Dios presente en Jesús y han respondido a ese amor. El dolor de Marta por la muerte de su hermano Lázaro es el dolor de una discípula de una creyente. Las primeras palabras que dirige a Jesús a su llegada, parecen expresar su decepción por la ausencia de Jesús en el momento de la muerte de su hermano. Si hubiera estado aquí, mi hermano no habría muerto. Ella simboliza a todo creyente que lucha por aceptar la aparente ausencia del Señor ante la cruda realidad de la muerte de un ser querido. A la afligida, pero esperanzada, Martha, Jesús, se le revela como la resurrección y la vida. Y a continuación, le hace una maravillosa promesa que ha hablado a los creyentes afligidos a lo largo de los siglos. La promesa declara que todos los que creen en Jesús ya comparten la vida resucitada de Jesús. Y que el momento de la muerte física no romperá esa comunión vital con Jesús. Let us bring a petition before the Lord, trusting in his mercy and compassion. For the church throughout the world, may she increase in number 
and holiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern, may the Lord enlighten their hearts and minds as they fulfill their obligations to those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from chronic pain, may the Lord strengthen and encourage them. In hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our faith community who feel lonely and insulted, may the Lord touch their hearts and lift up their spirits. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may the Lord reward them with eternal joy. In his presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear these prayers we have brought before you in faith and answer them in accordance with your divine will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O oh Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your serving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when his supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and the Cardinal Bless, Pichawaki Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and we may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as thy is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive us our trespasses, and deliver us from the temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and the unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer each other the side of peace. Lamb of God, we take your hands. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb.
Father, come on. The God of Christ. 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 Communion and phone. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into this world. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the blood and the blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in a sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.